Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, Juliet, your piercing test of English to do. Now in today's video, I'll be talking about describe image. This is a third task in your piercing test of English speaking. Now let's just look at this um, task and know what it entails, what is expected of you, tips and tricks, and then templates finally. Now let's look at the task description. You'll be given six to seven of this question on exam day. And the good thing is this task will only ask you to your speaking module, so you have to take it seriously. Now you'll be given 25 seconds to look at the image and prepare to speak. And um, the image will range from graphs, bar charts, bar, um, bar charts, <laughs> bar charts rather. And then you see um, sometimes they just put images of maybe somewhere like a cafe, a market without any feature. They just expect you to speak into your microphone what the image is about. Then immediately the 25 second um, finishes, you will hear a beep. And once you hear that beep, you expect to start speaking into your microphone, the graph that is before you. You're supposed to describe it to your best of knowledge or to your best of understanding. Now, it's a very straightforward task. It's not difficult. You just have to practice it before exam day. Now, scoring. How are you scored for this task? You'll be scored five points for content, five points for oral fluency, and under five points for pronunciation. It's just like every other um, speaking task, just that you score five points for content, unlike in the first two tasks in the speaking, which are the read aloud and the repeat sentence, where you score three points for content. Now, because you scored five points for content in describe image and five points for both oral fluency and pronunciation, that doesn't mean that describe image carries more mark than the first two, which are the read aloud and the repeat sentence. Nobody really knows how Pearson awards their score, but this describe image will just add scores to your speaking and no other module. Okay, guys, so um, this is the task description for this task. Um, this is the third task in the exam. The task will ask us to just the speaking module and you have about six or seven of this task on exam day. Um, now this is what the scoring looks like. I just got a bit of it. That's a small portion of it. You can see here, describe image. You can see six to seven. That's the number of items on exam day. And you can see the scoring, partial kind of scoring um, happens here. That means that you might not get like zero. You only get zero when you don't say anything or if you wait for three seconds, um, once you're supposed to start speaking and you don't say anything, then the computer assumes that you're not there or you're not ready. Then you can see content, pronunciation, and fluency. Those are the three major criteria on which you'll be scored. Then when they say partial scoring, they simply mean that um, if, you, if you speak very well, like if you have all the content, describe all the content, you can have five marks, four marks if you describe um, some other things and not everything, just like that. You know, I'm not just going to double into all that now. Like I said in the video, that only person understands how they do the scoring. Now, this is one of the examples I'm going to be using. And um, the next slide will have the template. But I just want to show you the example first. Then this is what the template looks like. Then you will have another example. I'm going to use the same template to describe these two images that is here. So the, the first one, I'm going to use the template. It says, the image before me shows state higher education expenditures in FY2012 and other relevant information. There are some great features that make up this image and they include New York City, New Jersey, Connecticut, Oklahoma, and California. In addition, they have um, Washington, who have Texas, who have Minnesota, as shown in the image. In conclusion, this image is highly educative and interesting. Now, if you speak this way, you will find out that you have spoken between 20 to 30 seconds, which is an ideal time for you to speak. Don't use up the entire 40 seconds, like I said in the video. Um, if you time me, you find out that I'm just within that range, within 25 to 30 seconds. But just keep it simple. Speak within 20 to 30 seconds using this template. Now, this template cuts across any kind of image that is given to you. This template, you can use it for any kind of image. It's just simple and it, um, it's all encompassing. So let's look at the next example. And I'm going to use the same template. The image before me shows height of trees and other relevant information. There are some great features that make up this image, and they include hemlock, cedar, spruce, and Douglas fir. And in addition, hemlock has 130 feet, cedar has 200 feet, sprouts has 230 feet, Douglas fir has 280 feet, as shown in the image. 
In conclusion, this image is highly educative and interesting. Now, don't forget, this is the template I use for both examples or both images that I have in this video today. So you can use this template. My students use it and they pass. This is one of the um, templates I use for the describe image, especially when I'm doing the Pearson test of English mock or when I'm in the real exam. So you can try this template. It works, guys. Make sure you use it in your next exam. But before you use it, make sure you know it. Make sure um, you practice it well enough on um, the practice, some practice websites that are available before your day of the exam. It makes it easy for you. Hey guys, this brings me to the end of the video. I hope you're able to understand everything you need to know about this task. It's a very straightforward task. I do only ask us to your speaking module. Remember in the PTE, um, some tasks are integrated, but this one is not one of such tasks. So just take it seriously. Do what you need, know, know best how to do. Practice, practice, practice as much as you can. Now, have you followed me on Instagram? If you haven't, please follow me on Instagram at English underscore prep class and on Facebook at English prep class. Above all, please hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? <laughs> if you have not hit the subscribe button, it's very important for me. And then watch this video, watch it to the end. You can play it, you can share it with your friends and other videos I have that can help you prepare for your Pearson test of English um, exam. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Stay safe. Bye.